Alert weather. These are your headlines. Uh, Friday is here, and I mean it. It's going to be hot today, and we'll be in the 90 degree range. Uh, gusty and dusty a little bit later on. I don't know how else I can remind you of just how smoking hot it's going to be around here, but that seems like the best way to do it. Some bold sunshine to begin with as you look down the interstate. That is 86 this morning live from uh, the Arbonne Valley, thanks to Idaho Department of Transportation. We go to Jackson this morning, and the temperatures are a little cooler there. We do have close to 60 degrees to begin with on the iPad with our app. It's 38 in Moose and right there at the Jackson Hole Airport. This is Buffalo Way, and you can see how the shadowing there with the bright sunshine, Idaho Falls, Pocatello. Uh, there is some uh, cloudiness there to the south. It looks like about 75 degrees. We got 57 in Driggs, 70 into uh, Rexburg. Uh, and right there, I'm about 57 degrees into IF this morning and 46 into Salmon. Watch as this double barrel low develops. The stationary front is here. It's edging in and we're seeing some of those clouds and maybe even a shower spritz across the southeastern highlands with that influx of moisture. You know, we get that warm air and a little bit of humidity around here and uh, things start uh, popping and cropping. So we may see uh, just a blitz of a shower here through uh, the morning and we're going to see some gusty winds as the things ride along this front into our, our area. So Bear Lake and Soda Springs, Lava Hot Springs, obviously we're seeing some dark clouds that way and some morning showers abound. We've got wind gusts 15 to 17 miles an hour there into the upper central mountain areas. This is a high wind warning into Montana along the line. So we're under a wind advisory for most of our viewing area. And then we've got a finger of cold air that's going to jettison in here and maybe kick up some showers as that front passes through. But high pressure will be back in the next week. This this is not a weather maker or a rain maker for us. There is a chance of some mountain showers and obviously we're saturated in those areas. So it stands to reason that that will increase water flow. But at this point, we're just looking at winds for the day today and some uh, spotty showers, uh, garden variety type showers as well, maybe popping up. But we're going to have 30 plus mile an hour winds into the mid morning and beyond that with 50 mile an hour gust. We'll be close to 90 degrees there across Preston and Malad. Hence the morning showers We've got a lot of warm warm air streaming in here from the south and we get some uh, cold air on top of it and some uh, humidity and things start popping. Those popcorn variety summertime showers. So we're really, really getting a taste of July and then we're going to shut things down. It's going to feel more like April uh, tomorrow because we're going to drop the temps 15 degrees. It'll be 86 for the afternoon in Swan Valley, right there around 80 degrees into Jackson and we get into the upper central mountain areas where it's going to be close to 90 degrees in Salmon, but you're going to have some cloud cover as well and chance of showers. The I-15 corridor and our our beloved communities along the Great Snake and US 20, uh, Manan, Roberts, Hamer, uh, down through Chubbuck and into Fort Hall. We're looking at temps ranging from 90 to 95 degrees. And then we're going to be in the 50s for tonight. Here's your local news eight day extended forecast. Blackfoot, good yawning. Uh, you'll be at Jensen's Grove, I know, probably trying to get some, get some uh, mist sprayed up on you. Uh, don't cook yourself. Make sure you take care of everybody, little kids with hats and suntan lotion. We don't need any. any hospitalizations, but I know everybody looks out for everybody else too. Please be careful on the water, 93, uh, and the canals as well, because I know those are flowing. It's going to be only in the upper 70s tomorrow with this cool down, gusty winds, and then we bring back the heat into Wednesday and Thursday for Rexburg. Gusty winds today, 90 in salmon, and a good chance of those showers, about a 50% on average between tomorrow and into Sunday with the cool down into the 60s. Normal temps should be right there in the mid 70s, and we'll be just just above that in Jackson tomorrow where we start ramping up the storm chances as that front gets along the divide. It'll be 83 for the afternoon. Some dark storm clouds here and some haze and blowing winds and dust. You may have some uh, hail to contend with as well if we get a thunder bumper and it gets warm enough in there. It'll be 92 for the afternoon and we'll be right there dipping about 10 degrees for the next couple of days. It'll be 88 gusty, hot, hazy in Idaho Falls and maybe a shower across here. Uh, we'll see limited chances of that, but you can expect one to water your tomatoes and uh, you need to tell us what your daddy always said because that's fun. 534-9957. We'll give him one of those world's greatest dad trophies like they gave out last night. The greatest, right, Dylan? Yes, sir. Absolutely, yes. The dining